Yes, you guys, it's Super Mario Galaxy. Welcome to my new Let's Play. Let's start this. So, I already have one, so we're not going to go to that, and we're just going to create a new file. Yes. Uh, let's do Mario. Why not? Yay, we have Mario's face now! Too bad we can't, like, pull it around like we can in Nintendo 64. Um, but, let's play. Get it? Let's play. <laughs> Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. Toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Dear Mario, I'll be waiting for you at the castle on the night of the Star Festival. There's something that I'd like to give you from Peach. Yay, now we're Mario running around. Woohoo! So, I got two comments. That was it. Of what games I should play. This was one of them, and the other one was Push My World, which I will be doing um, for my next Let's Play then. Because, I don't know. Not many people, I guess, want to. Watch my videos, at least now, right now. Hopefully they will later on, but not holding any chances. And so I am going to be talking over this cutscene right now, just because um, it'll help with copyright issues. Because I don't want to get copyright issues with music that's playing in the background or stuff like that. So this is going to be my new Let's Play series. Um, I'm going to be 100%ing it. Uh, except I don't think I'm going to be doing the uh, Luigi stars after. Because all, all you do in that one is just get the same stars over again, but as Luigi. And I don't feel like doing that. Uh, but I am going to be getting all 120 stars. And after this, probably not next after this, but a little bit down the line, we are going to be doing Super Mario Galaxy 2, which would be a lot of fun. And I'm really excited for that. But this game's a lot of fun, too. I do like the second one better, but I really like this one as well. Um, fun fact, I've never actually 100% of this game. I've got, I've beat the final boss, I've, I've gone through the whole story, but I've never 100%ed it. So, this is gonna be my first time 100%ing it, and you guys are gonna see me do it. <laughs> Which should be a lot of fun. I mean, it's not really a hard game to 100%, but I just never got around to it because either I started getting bored or I started playing something else but that was mainly because I think I did the thing is when I play games I play the heck out of a game when I get it um, so that's uh, kind of the problem with me in video games is if I play it too often uh, I think I get burnt out of it really quickly Whereas, like, when I'm doing Let's Plays and things, it's a little bit easier. Because I don't have to, uh, like, do it consistently. I only do, like, about half an hour a day. If not less. Or more. Depends on the video that I'm uploading that day. But, I mean, it makes it war last a little bit longer. Like, Captain Toad. I probably would have not been able to get as far as I did, I probably would have beat the first, um, not the first book, but, like, beat the game, but then not done any of the bonus book like I was doing, which I'm happy I'm di I did the bonus book, because that was actually a lot of fun to do, and, like, I don't know, Hyrule Warriors, I probably, uh, actually, I still haven't touched that in a while, I mean, I downloaded the new, uh, DLC, and played on that a little bit, but that was pretty much the, uh, as far as I went with that. Um, but, I mean, 
Guacamelee. I only beat that game once. And that was because I went back to it after a long time. <laughs> uh, and so I, I think Let's Playing really helps me with wanting to finish games because it kind of forces me to. So it'll, it should be a lot of fun. And now we're seeing the mushroom, well, the castle uh, being picked up and probably going to be taken away. And Peach is looking for Mario. We're, oh no, not you. Oh no, you no. No! Ow, that hurts. Jerk. God. <laughs> so, even though I did only get two comments on my uh, new series help video, um, you know, it was still, it was still fun to do that, um, putting all the trailers together and putting them into like a little video so that you guys could choose what game I play next, even though only two people actually did it. That's fine, because there's nothing else I can ask for, but for at least something. And this was one of the games. Finally, you're awake! Let's play! We are Let's Playing. We're Let's Playing this game. So, first off, we just have to catch the bunny. Just catch the bunny. Get back your bunny. Give me a bunny. Oh, who did he bring us to? Let's play hide and seek. If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. Oh, God. Making it so complicated for me. And let's go through here and... Oh, nope, never mind. Wasn't in that one. Is he in this one? Yes, he is. Let's go get him. Give me a boonie. Give me a bunny. Get bigger. God, why do you hop so fast? No. There we go. We got one bunny. Oh, I've only got hit in the pipe. Hmm, is that a little pretty much telling us where one of the other ones is? You betcha. And come on, get back here. No, thank you. Oh, wait, I can't spin yet. Oops. <laughs> I haven't played uh, this one in a long time. I just picked it up uh, from GameStop again. So, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. <laughs> you should have hit it in the grass. Jeez, pipes, grass. I think these guys are smoking weed. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, there's the bunny. Let's go get him. Yeah, we got him. I can't believe I let myself get caught. Wow, you caught all of us. Maybe you really can help Mama. Who's Mama? <gasps> bum, 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 bum. And let's just... Oh. I want to talk to you. Go away. Oh, wait, I can't. Uh, I hate not being able to um, spin jump. Or not spin jump, but do my little spinning thing. Who is this? Ooh. Ooh. I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. Oh no, not right now. <sighs> I'll fix that later. It'll be fine in the next episode. <laughs> Disaster has struck us, just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the Grand Stars. 
Maybe the stars sh may the stars shine down on you. Who was that? <gasps> Crazy. Shake thing to spin into things that look breakable. You can even spin enemies to stun them. And let's fly. So this is the cool thing about um, this game is it's zero gravity. Hi there. Good to see you. I have some bad news, though. See, I had a power a launch star all ready for you, but a meteor smashed it up. You can't leave without it, so find all the star chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall in the back hole. So as I was saying, uh, this game's really fun because you... Pretty much, it. Uh, whoa, that was close. Um, all you do is pretty much collect things, which I like, which is awesome for me. I love collectathon games like this and stuff. Um, but I mean, this one's not really a collectathon, but whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, but I just love how this one you can walk around on a planet and the gravity actually affects you and everything. Get me out of here! One of those enemies should have the key. You can shake blank to spin them around and make them dizzy. Once they're stunned, just run into them. Okay. Do you have the key? Yes, you did. Yay! We unlocked the Luma! Now let's... Jump back over. Thanks! Would you mind rescuing my bunny in that base up there, too? I'll transform into a sling star. Just jump into me after I transform! Yay, sling stars! Now. Oh, no. Giant Goomba who goes down really easily. <laughs> So, um, those little things that I'm collecting, like the little star bits, are called star bits. Uh, what they do is, well, honestly, you'll see later. <laughs> you'll see in the next episode. Hurry, down here! Okay. Let's go down, down, and looting around. It's too good with going down, playing it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this series. That's a Grand Star. We have to save it. They're using the Grand Star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making something. What is it making? Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> Let's just... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Let's get down to business to press the buttons. Come on, let's just press them so we can beat the level. Pressing buttons. Oh, I, I already know. It's already doing that. Oh, no. I missed one. There we go. Yay! Now they're all green! And everything's gone! Woohoo! And it's all shiny. It's shiny. Ugh. There we go. Yay! You got a grand star! Yay! Yay! What is this place? Oh. And... Shooting star! Ooh, it just ate the star. Oh. Whoa. Now, this is actually kind of cool to me. Um, I like how it has, like, this... I mean, eh, it's kind of like how... Oh, God. <coughs> Sorry. It's kind of like how... Um, Super Mario 64 is in a little ways, but not too much. 
and we discovered a new galaxy. The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as a class 6 star, but at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home and also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had lashed onto our ship, pulling away star bits and our power source, power stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. Please, I have a request. This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there is a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now, powered by the, pa the star power you restored, is this one, the Terrace. Please go to the terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If you do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory's ab ability to fly a starship. Blah, blah, blah. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. Oh, and that's going to do it, you guys. Hope you guys had a fun time watching, because I had a fun time playing. Please like, subscribe, comment, favorite this video. It really helps me out, and I really appreciate it. And this is going to be a fun series, you guys, and I cannot wait to start playing it with you guys. Anyways, see you next time. Bye.